Salute to Mama Barty. Cardi B is a part of a new show on Netflix called Rhythm and Flow. And to be real with you, it's a rap show. It's a dirty rap show, too. I like it. It's a rap show in which Cardi B, joined by Chance the Rapper and T.I., they're out trying to find the next up-and-coming rapper. And you got people like Chance the Rapper, T.I., and Cardi B giving criticism. There are other people that have joined the show uh, as well. They're giving criticism, critiques to some of these young and up and coming rappers. And this is called a spade a spade. There are people coming at Cardi B because she's on the show. There are people like, yo, Cardi, what the hell you know about rap? You are not a rapper. You are just someone who had a huge following on social media. You were polarizing. You was on Love and Hip Hop. And Atlantic Records gave you some hits. And you became a celebrity and a, and a star in the game. That's your come up story. Let me just pause that real quick and say this. If you have not seen Cardi B live on stage, you will learn quickly that that is not just a mouthpiece for a label. She's put in a lot of work. I don't know if she's the best rapper out there. I ain't saying none of that. But that young lady has put in a lot of work and she definitely hustles on that goddamn stage. So Cardi B, like everything else out there about her, she's always going to respond. And apparently on social media, there were a lot of people coming at Cardi's neck saying why is she on this show rhythm and flow why is she a judge why they get a bag to her reportedly it was a 10 million dollar bag why they give her the bag instead of a real female rapper who could properly judge some of these artists coming up and cardi felt offended if you put cardi b's name in your mouth she will respond to you she just does not like being talked about she cares about what people think about her so she went over to her twitter account to address anyone that was saying uh, or questioning her position on this show and more importantly her position in the rap game this is what cardi said i didn't say i paved the way for female rappers but i definitely gave the hood and women hope niggas wasn't collabing with female rappers labels were signing female rappers but putting them on the shelf and not focusing on them not giving them the proper attention it seems like it was impossible for it to be more than one female rapper. These male rappers were not even taking money from female rappers for a feature because it seemed far-fetched for another woman to make it. I see so many male artists collabing with females now, even some that are not mainstream because I know they don't want to miss out on the opportunity in case they make it because trust and believe it's a lot of niggas I ask for features from when they, you know, seen me. They told me I should have believed in you because they could have had them a feature and they's like damn i should have did the feature with you when you were cheap pretty much is what cardi b saying and you can't deny it as much as you want and say i'm crazy or whatever shut the fuck up but how many female rappers before me were getting chances or getting pushed they wasn't believing and now they are and for the slow ones again no i ain't made females want to rap because bitches been rapping and bitches been having talent but the music industry wasn't believing and it was shitting on females rappers and that's big bentley all right it's pretty much it on that she said some other things as well but i'm gonna just leave it at that yeah i think cardi is 100 percent right she was the person that paved the way for a lot of female rappers call a spade a spade the rap that she does and y'all know what kind of just how we need like different types of rap on the male side like we got the mumble rap side we got the trap rap side I feel like females are starting to kind of venture out and create their own lanes within rap. We got the Remy Moss, a lyrical miracle New York chick, right? Then we got the Nicki Minaj, more kind of witty, uh, looking for them bars, looking for like punchline type catchy phrases, right? And then there's like this Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Young Miami type wave. They want to talk about how they finessing you. Like, nigga, I, I, I got the bag from you nigga you gave it to me because i'm popping i'm the chick that I'm, I'm fine i can show you my body and you gonna you gonna pay for this so i think that's even like a little variance of the female rap side and cardi was the person to start that and kick that off bruh love and hip-hop used to be the sign of a rapper being dead and from a career standpoint now a lot of people go on love and hip-hop to get their career started bruh in Atlanta, I see cameras every goddamn where with love and hip hop filming or some of these, and most of these people are rappers. Like these young ladies, especially the ladies, they're on these shows trying to get their rap career. They're trying to grow that following so they could be the next Cardi B. She started that, the whole get your platform popping first, then the music comes second. Do I love that? No, but I'm happy for people getting opportunities. And Cardi's right, she didn't start that. She said something very important in those tweets that I read that I think you should know. She was like, yo, 
I walk up to niggas now, rappers specifically, and they be like, yo, I should have got a feature for you back in the day, or I should have did a record with you back in the day when you won shit, all right? And she was like, look, I'm looking at uh, dudes in the rap game now give uh, verses to a lot of female artists who ain't even popping right now. What she means by that is you don't know who's next up. So there's a young female rapper out there who maybe has a look and she might have 50,000, 100,000 followers, but the music ain't really with the people yet. There's a nigga out there that's probably mainstream or close to mainstream that's like, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and rock out with her and give her a verse. I'm gonna go ahead and put her on my joint because she might be the next Cardi B. That shit can happen in the next six months for her. And she, Cardi's like, that wasn't happening before. And she's 100% right. So for that, Cardi does deserve a lot of credit. Is she the best rapper out there? No, never claimed to be. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, she has created a lane, for good or for bad, for female rappers to flourish. It's more brand-oriented than it is talent-oriented, but it is a, a lane for female rappers, nevertheless, to flourish. And again, I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.